what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you're not already sis make sure you follow me on instagram at the hair life and the hair life official so today's video is sponsored by ash mary hair thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video and i hope i pronounced that correctly so today's video is going to be the installation and like cutting process of this beautiful deep wave wig that was a texture prior to me washing and deep conditioning it here is the lace before i um, bleached it in the inside of the construction here are the knots i had to get up close and personal for y'all so y'all could see the lace and the knots the knots were super small you guys can see and the lace was really really thin and it was slightly stretchy the lace was really good and this is the texture after i washed and deep conditioned the unit and let it dry I know it's a deep wave, but it was getting very much curly and the texture was really pretty. I did not have any issues during the washing process either. The hair was extremely soft, minimum shedding. So I'm showing you guys right here. It didn't come with a lot of extra lace, but that's fine. Um, here are the knots after I bleached it. I did bleach them for about an hour with some 30 volume developer. And yeah, we are gonna go ahead and get right into the customization. So like I did say, you guys, this unit was pre-plugged. I'm just going to go in and do some extra customizations to make it look even more natural. Um, and the hairs came out really nicely. I didn't have any problem customizing this unit. Um, Y'all know I just go in with my hot comb first after I get my part and everything together. So I will leave the link to that down below as well if you guys are interested. So yeah, I'm just going to let you guys watch. I feel like y'all have seen me customize enough units now. I'm just let y'all watch and I will be back. So after I customize, y'all know I just go right into defining the curl pattern. I know it's deep wavy, but it was definitely giving curls to me. So I just make sure I always get the hair really wet, especially the ends. I love defined ends. And these ends, as y'all can see, had these beautiful wranglet curls. I just took this little fake dimming brush and ran the ends through y'all. It looks so good. I love wranglets at the ends, so that's always a plus. And I just took my Lace by Ash Perfect Foaming Mousse, y'all already know, and I scrunched the hair up. That's just going to really get those ends nice and defined. And you just want to make sure you don't have any dry areas. So I did let this dry. And here's what it looked like after I got done defining it. Um, after it was dry, I went in with my wax stick and my hot comb. I'll leave all the links that I'm using, all the products I'm using, I'll leave links down below for you guys if you're interested. Uh, 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 
So after I'm done hot combing everything, I did go in with my zigzag scissors. And I've said this before, but if you guys have a hard time cutting your lace, I highly suggest you get some zigzag scissors. It just makes life so much easier. You don't have to worry about not cutting in a straight line. It's gonna do the work for you. So you just wanna lift up those baby hairs and cut it off. So onto the install, I'm going in with my foundation. This is the foundation I was wearing this particular day. And I'm just going to apply this all over my cap in the front area, all over the hairline, and then in the middle area for my middle part. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the lace of the actual wig. And when I tell you guys, I did not use anything other than mousse for this install. I did not use any adhesive, no glue, nothing. And I had to get up close, y'all. I could not believe how good this lace blended in with my skin. Like, I didn't have to do anything. I applied some mousse and that was it. It looked so good. So this is what the unit looked like before I decided to cut it, but I was just looking at it, I'm like, wait, this would be really cute as a middle part wavy bob. So here's the back part, the wave pattern, like you guys can see is so beautiful. So I did just grab my scissors and I proceeded to cut this in like a little asymmetrical bob. Um, I just feel like summer's coming. You might not always want something on your neck and this turned out really cute. So I'm glad I did cut it. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me cut. I just cut down at an angle. Y'all know the huge. So I'm gonna let y'all watch and I will be back. That's pretty much all there was to this video, you guys, this install. Like I said, I did not have to apply any glues. This lace, I was really, really pleased with the lace and how well the knots bleached. This was a super quick and easy install. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye. Yeah.